Hi everybody, it's teacher Rachel from the Children's Community School. Today I am here in my bedroom, in my apartment, and I want to talk to you about things you can do when you're missing someone. I don't know about you, but I have been missing people for some time now because when we all had to go home and to stay in our homes to keep each other safe because of coronavirus, that meant that I stopped seeing some of people who I really love to see and it made me miss them. And even though I got to see them on Zoom calls or got to call them, I still missed them. And now it's summertime and so we haven't been doing as much school and I am missing seeing the people who I saw on Zoom. I miss seeing my co-teacher Patricia. I miss seeing my Magnolia kids from the Magnolia classroom, which is the classroom I taught last year. And I have been working on a book about things you can do when you miss someone. And yesterday I finished illustrating it. Illustrating means making the drawings. And this is a book that feels pretty special to me. It's called When I Miss Someone, I Can. And it is by the Magnolia class. The kids who I taught in the children's community school in the Magnolia class said the words for this book. They are the authors of this book. We had conversations about what they like to do when they're feeling like they miss someone. And I wrote those down and then I illustrated. I drew the pictures of the things that they said they like to do when they miss someone. And maybe this can give you some ideas of things you can do when you miss someone. And it says, illustrated by teacher Rachel. That's me. Let's see. So I actually haven't put this book together yet. It's still just pages, but I'm gonna still read it like a book. Let's see, what's on the first page? Oh. When you miss someone, you can look at a picture of them. And I have a picture. I look at my class picture. And when I'm feeling like I miss the kids in my class, I look at the class picture. Cuddle a stuffed toy. This kid is cuddling a purple teddy bear. Looks like they might be in a peaceful spot in their house. Do some movement. This kid is holding a scarf and waving it around. And it looks like it's making them feel really happy. I see a big smile. watch videos of them. If you're missing someone and you have a video of them, you might be able to watch it and it might make you feel better. Or it might not make you feel better, it might still make you feel like you miss them, but it might be something that you would wanna do. Play with snakes or make Play-Doh snakes. There was a child in the class who said that they really like to make Play-Doh snakes to help them feel better when they're missing someone. And that is a fun thing that they like to do. Write a letter. You could write a letter to the person who you're missing and you can tell them how you're feeling or tell them something about your life or just say hi or draw them a picture. And you can send them a letter. You could call them. It might be nice to talk to them on the phone. Play a game. Sometimes a fun thing to do is play a game. You could think about them. This child is thinking about their friend and probably maybe they're remembering the things they used to do together they like about them. It seems like this child is missing their friend. 
drop a box on your head. Sometimes when you're feeling a little bit sad in your heart, you might want to get a little bit silly because getting a little bit silly might make you feel a little bit better. It works for some people. For some people, it's hard to get silly when you're feeling sad. People are different, but this is something that one kid said makes them feel better. Play with a pet. If you have a pet, you might be able to play with them. You can hug or kiss someone who you're with. Sometimes when I'm missing someone, I feel like I need a big hug and I might want a hug from the person that I'm missing and that's not possible, but I still can maybe get a hug from someone else who I'm with and that makes me feel better. It might help you feel better too. Thank you for reading that book with me and thank you to the kids from the Magnolia class for helping me write the words to that book. I hope that this has given you some ideas of things you can do when you're missing someone. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your summertime. Bye bye.